Good morning, everyone. Happy spring. Dr. Scribble here at the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Um, if you're wondering where all that white stuff is, it is frost. It's freezing. Actually, less than freezing. <laughs> Welcome to spring in New England. <coughs> I'm not complaining. We've had a pretty mild winter, so... So today is the 21st of March. It is a uh, Tuesday, and it is uh, the day of the new moon in Aries. Yes, the new moon in Aries. Uh, the sun is in Aries. The moon is in Aries. Chiron is in Aries. Jupiter is in Aries. Mercury is in Aries. And is that it? Sun, moon, Mercury. Chiron and Jupiter. That's crowded enough. It's a crowded house, as it were. Aries is the house is the first house, the I am house. So <laughs> the I am is all crowded in one spot. <laughs> new moons are about new beginnings. Um, made especially potent because Aries is the first sign of the zodiac so it's the beginning of the beginning and this uh, new moon is actually at one degree of Aries one um, it hasn't quite gone far enough into Aries to get to the second degree so over the weekend I think it was Sunday Mercury that would have been the uh, 19th Mercury moved into Aries of course it moves in at that one first degree and then yesterday uh, equinox, the sun moved into one degree of Aries, and then to, then <clears throat> today the moon moved into Aries, and will conjoin the sun to start a new cycle. It's a new Aries cycle. It's a new zodiac zodiacal cycle because we're in Aries, the first sign of the zodiac. And uh, you may hear crunching. That's me walking on the grass. It's very crunchy, uh, but it is very sparkly. It's like it's like walking with diamonds. Actually, pretty cool. As long as I don't fall on my butt. <laughs> All right. So, what is it that we want to in, uh, initiate? Aries is very instinctual. We might find ourselves doing things from a very instinctual place. Aries doesn't have a whole lot of forethought. Generally, Aries uh, finds things out when it runs into them head first, sometimes bump in their head. So with all this Aries energy, uh, you know, holding back isn't really a thing. <laughs> so be aware of that. However, it is the I am and it's an opportunity to, I mean, look at the ground. It's, I don't know if you guys can see it the way I can, but it's just totally sparkling with frost. Oh, There you go. There's a frosty table for you. Frosty. Frosted. The natural way. So, this is a good time to initiate things. Remember, in another two days on the 23rd, uh, Pluto will move into Aries. I'm, I'm sorry, Pluto will move into Aquarius. Sorry about that, guys. Don't get nervous. Um, and so there's more of that initiatory first time in a long time kind of energy <laughs> in the air. Um, put your best foot forward if you can. Um, perhaps things are better unsaid at this point. Um, you know, unless it pops out of your mouth, which is a good chance it's going to pop out of your mouth <laughs> with that Aries Mercury. Anybody who has one knows what I'm talking about. Anyone who knows one probably knows more of what I'm talking about. But new moons are about new beginnings. And this is the I am. This is the beginning of being yourself, guys. Being yourself. Your authentic, unique self. 
And so you can embrace that with this energy. Um, yeah, so I'm uh, looking around, see if anything has popped up. It's below three freezing, so nothing yet. But today I think we're going to see some. It's supposed to get up to 50 today. Um, and so I think we'll see some flowers pop up today. I will, uh, I will keep you abreast of the situation as I've been known to do. But new beginnings, guys. Very, very exciting. Check out my Moon Shadows episode with Ona. Uh, it was a great, I think it's a, it runs about 40 minutes maybe, but it was a great um, discussion. It's always such a nice time to spend with my friend Ona. And then we will be doing the full moon uh, on her moonshine episode, but you can check out our new moon in Aries episode. And uh, if you want more specifics about the uh, nuts and bolts astrology of this week. You can check out my week ahead. That's also a good video. I cover this new moon. I cover the ingress of uh, of the sun in in uh, in Aries, and also Pluto in Aquarius. So a lot of good information there. The Sabian symbol for one degree of Aquarius is a woman rising from the sea, a seal embracing her is about the birth of a new consciousness, a new consciousness. That is the energy, and uh, it's up to you with what you want to do with that, right? We are responsible for ourselves, for what we put out there, so we want to make sure what we put out there is how we want to, be, how we want to put ourselves out there. And sometimes with Aries, it's so instinctual that we're not even realizing we're doing it while we're doing it. So... Uh, just be aware. People are likely to see you. <laughs> All right, just walking in the back here. It's a little messy. This is our burn pile, which we will get to when burning season is, is an option. But it's really, really uh, sparkly today. So no flowers, but plenty of sparkle. <laughs> All right, guys. Have yourself a wonderful day. Like and subscribe if you would. Here come the sun. Do -do -do -do. Here come the sun. And I said, it's all right. Take care. Love you.